In the previous episode, we took our second fief of the campaign, Uruxkala Castle, finally figured out how to make claims moving towards legal ownership, destroyed a massive army of 445 in three consecutive battles, and passed several minor policies. All right, so we're we're basically halfway through on the the claim that we're making. So this is, um, what does it say, 40 days left to build the claim. And then this one, we just did it recently. So 70, yeah, we still got a long ways to go on the other one. Let's head back down to the castle. We can get a better vantage point from here. See if anybody's going to be attacking us. So we're not getting raided by anybody, which is good. These towns are pretty much trashed. Population was really low. Only good one is Visi brought. Yeah, and this one will have a, another village project done in seven days. That's really fast. I think guys are doing really well. Now this one's down to 459. I believe it was in the 500s before. So I'm wondering if people are starting to come in now. We're at 213 population. Yeah, I think the tax exemption is helping. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, though, because it looks like population is still plus 10. So it's slow going. We just need to keep people off of this. Don't raid our stuff. We should just execute people if they start raiding us. Now, they did... Oh, wow, look at this. So we got a message saying that they were putting fish in the, um, the stash here at, at the castle, and they charged us a few bucks for it. But look at how many fish they have. 1,400. So we don't have to worry about food for a while. Uh, we just need to keep a good variety, which we I just saw that we got two more levels. So fish dead. He's at 273. He's very, very close to 275. So that's going to make a huge difference. And what we should probably do is, is recruit a few more people. We do have the room for it. Man, look at that. That's a lot of cavalry. You know what? Let's take them and then we'll just drop them off in the castle because we need, we need more defenders there. All right, Uruxkala Castle, you're getting a bunch of very high-tier cavalry. Yeah, some Otroki. Those guys got a two-handed axe. It's pretty nasty looking. Ooh, there we go, Stuart, 275. So we hit it. Uh, let's keep recruiting a little bit. All right, here we go. So 275 reduces food consumption and also increases morale, reduces wages. So we're at 6,000 and... 62. What does it do once we accept that? It saves us a thousand dinars per day. That's a lot of money. So now our income, our income was starting to get squeezed a little bit, but that's because, you know, we're, we've got really high wages in, in all the garrisons and for our main party. So that's going to help a lot. All right, recruit more troops. Let's see what Uruk Skala has got. Oh, there's a really big battle down there. We'll pick up a few more. Let's head down there and see what's going on. If we can fight the loser, or the winner, maybe? I don't know. How many people are there? Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, I don't think we can take that. Now, if they disperse, we can start fighting them. All right, let's get in there. Can we catch some of these guys? Forgive me what may seem to be right, an so abundance there's... of caution, but please... Alright, we'll say hi in their negative tongue and make them happy before they cut their men down. So it's it's only three groups. 290 versus 175. This is going to be an easy battle, but it, it will wipe quite a few of their troops off the map. I've noticed the AI has a hard time raising big armies, so taking out this much really would set them back quite a bit. Oh, man. Cannot see anything. Wow, that's crazy. Talk about fog. Okay, let's get a nice long line. Get the archers in, uh... Let's see, three. Three rows deep. And we'll take the right flank. Yeah! Foot moves to enemy! Archers, advance! Horsemen, stay close! Right, let's pull the ranging guard. Let's go do our work. This should be an easy one. The biggest issue here... Oh, interesting. There's 33. I think those are the horse archers. Let's deal with them first. The biggest issue we're going to have here is fighting more than one battle. So I think oh, they are picking us off. The, the thing we'll have to focus on here is keeping people from retreating as much. The more people we deal with now, the easier it'll be for us later. Oh man, this is, it's a slaughter. <laughs> right, we're approaching their line, we don't want to do that. See if we can catch some of these guys. 
Okay, there's their cab. Let's go ahead and flank around. The cab are probably not going to run first. Oh, you're not going to... No couch lancing allowed. <laughs> Alright, let's run right through their archer line. Switch to our spear. Alright, we're going to fight angle, pull back, take out the archers. We're going to leave until every one of these guys is dead. There we go. Enough damage. A short amount of time. They're all running. Let's deal with them. We don't want any of these guys to escape. There we go. Let's actually just send these guys out. They're just getting in the way. They're not really doing anything productive here. Who'd have thought? The AI is bad at using the cab, huh? <laughs> right, let's see if we can catch some more of these guys. Probably more running over here. It's going to be hard to tell. Oh, oh, got him. Oh, there's another one. So the fight's over, but these guys are still fighting. No, he's running out. Oh, we can't get him. We just passed him up. Yeah, there's some more that are going to get out. Looks like that's it. Yeah, 107 got out. Man, they're retreating early, but they get out and then they survive fight another day. So 65 influence. We're making a lot of influence. We'll probably maybe need it soon. Are we gaining relations with these guys? It's doing some weird loop. But wow, they have a lot of troops. Okay, we can take a lot of these guys. All right, let's let's take the high tier. We'll go and donate them one of the garrisons. Yeah, it's a shame we can't take more of them, but that's all right. Yeah, that'll work. And then we we'll deal with the prisoners somewhere else. Some decent loot. I don't know if there's gonna be upgrades though. Yeah, just on the civilian side. Yeah, they're scattered all over the place. Man, that's so annoying. I guess we could auto resolve. Then we'll end up losing people, but we'll see. Yeah, we lost two. But I guess it is what it is. It's what we have to do with. And we'll let this guy go. We've got really good relations with him, though. Now, prisoners, we can take all of those. Oh, wow. Some upgrades for us, even. Yes, yeah, so we got new boots. We got the lordly version, so it gives an extra five. And I highly doubt we're going to catch any more of these guys. But we'll try it. They're pretty slow. Yeah, we'll be able to catch these guys. Oh, never mind. Just out of range. All right, let's get back before we get sieged. Sasha, two years old. Let's go social and intelligence again. And she also gets endurance and cunning. Yeah, let's put the garrison in the castle. Yeah, I don't think we're keeping any of these, so let's go ahead and dump them all. The so garrison in Uruk-Skala is actually pretty strong right now. For, for being a castle, that is. Now let's check out how the workshop's doing. 13 days. And then we'll head back up to Tyal. How are we doing here on the fairground? Actually, we don't even need the fairground. Our, our, our loyalty is so high. Oh, that's right, because we use that as the backup. Okay, so what's next? We got max orchards. We're making quite a good amount of food now, so we don't have to worry about that quite as much. Unless we get sieged. We should probably build a granary. That's going to help increase our food stocks so we can survive a longer siege. But since we have a lot of things to build, we should probably focus on the workshop first. Let's start with the workshop first. We'll put a few more a few more bucks in there, and then let's line something else up afterwards. Yeah, I still feel like the granary is a good choice, and then training field. We're going to want to max out workshop first, but if, if we don't get back in time, we'll at least have it lined up. And let's take a look and see how these are doing. Workshop income is down to 89. It's basically flopped. So the wool weaver... Yeah, man, these guys are not doing well at all. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do there. Yeah, I think I think we'll leave Tail alone. I'm not sure what else to do. Tax office, I believe, is Visibrot. Let's see what, what's being built there next. Yeah, tax office. So this one's only going to take 24 days. This town is humming along. Look at that. That's crazy. Really nice. So we've got some stuff lined up. I think we're in good shape. Let's just uh, let it do its thing. I think probably don't really care about the Palisade as much. Let's go Manor and then Arms Warehouse. And then, because nothing else is behind it, we'll do the palisade afterwards. And then probably farmlands. Farmlands is going to help us grow more food. Now, the workforce here, let's actually put it on none and see if that makes a difference on the construction. Yeah, so it actually shortens it. Putting it on construction shortens the, shortens the construction by three days. Pretty big. So we'll leave it on construction for now. I think that's, that's a good option. Let's come back up to Bukit and see... 
we got going on there? Now, did we talk to this guy? It's been a that person's been stuck here that whole time. <laughs> yeah, this one's still gonna take forever. But, I mean, there's nobody living here. We really need the the population to grow. Yeah, there's there's no there's no real way around it. We just need that to grow. Okay, well, we'll come back. Now, actually, one thing, we do have it set up on land expansion right now, but I think our food is probably in a good spot. 216. So why don't we switch that over instead of workforce to land expansion let's go construction let's really hammer these buildings out quickly if we can 19 days left i like that let's see if it affects this one as well 410 it lowered it by like 30 or 40 so very very small amount that's unfortunate i don't think there's much else we can do other than just waiting i mean the population is going up by 10 a day yeah i, I do wish i knew how to raise this faster is there any way to add more population I don't know. Balticon's being sieged right now. That's interesting. Now, interestingly enough, this one's only got 119 people. But if you look at the construction, 82 days. Well, I guess it's already 87% done. That's probably why it was. It was probably almost done by the time I got raided. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go let's go farm some prisoners. <laughs> I don't know what else what else to do right now. We're we're still waiting. A peace offer from the Southern Empire. They want. They're probably going to want to give us some money. 630 daily tribute for peace. Nope. Not when we're making five, six grand a day. That's not going to make any difference to us. And they're not really attacking us. So that, that doesn't really make much difference. Now we do want to make sure we take Vladiv Castle at, at the very least. They didn't want to give up uh, prisoners, so we took them out. Oh, we forgot to give it to our prisoners. Speaking of which... <laughs> Uh, we'll take them by force. Yeah, so I was saying we need to take out Vladiv Castle before we sue for peace because they do own some Sturgeon lands. And before we do that, let's go to Vladiv. And yeah, hopefully they don't make us fight for him. Nope, they do. Yeah, we'll lose one. That's fine. All right, so we lose one. We pick up uh, 12. So net, net 11. Not too shabby. And what are they building? They are building Ballista and they're building it quite quickly. I think we're just going to skip the siege engines again, and we're just going to go straight to the assault. Looks like they'll get two up. We've dealt with that before. It wasn't a big deal. All right, middle of the day, we can handle that. All right, let's do it. Let's uh, check and see who's leveled up first. All right, where are these? Looks like they're both in the middle. Yeah, there's there's not really a good option here. So we're just going to go left side, right side, and just run for it. Make it run for it. Let's go, boys. All the way up. Infantry! Forward! Everyone! Troop! Move! Move! And we'll try and get the archers out of the way. It, it might be... That might be a tough one. Let's keep them back here, Forward! maybe. Alright, we do need to get up as quick as we can. Looks like we're going to miss a lot of the, the damage from those ballista. Oh, never mind. Let's give the charge command. Hopefully they go up. I'm going to switch to the mace here. Oh, we just need to... We need to try and survive. Oh, man. We need to survive until our guys get up. Start going up the, uh, the ladders. There we go. Now we can... Well, at least we're not completely surrounded now. Alright, they are starting to go, so let's switch. We need to beat our way through this this mass. coming. Oh, that's a big one. Okay, that hurt. That hurt. Dude, this guy is so annoying. There we go. I can't even, I can't. 
I can't get anything done because of this guy. There we go. Alright, now it's you and me, buddy. His helmet came off. <laughs> we hit him so hard his helmet flopped off. Alright, so he's dead. We were taking some pretty heavy fire from these archers. Let's go deal with that. That annoyance. Luckily they're hyper focused on something else. Roll them up, boys. Yeah, we took the walls. They're in free fall. No more archers. Oh, there's plenty back there. All right, we got a long ways to go. All right, let's take... These guys aren't really focused on us, so let's just take them out. We'll deal with the other guys in a minute. Oh, somebody else took them out. All the way up. Oh yeah, they got nobody left. That's it. Another castle is ours. That's three feet. Two castles and a town. We took some hits here though. Uh, fortunately, none of our companions died. It looks like only three of them went down actually. And some guys did pretty well. It looks like some of them didn't even get involved. They were probably stuck. We lost four archers and then looks like 28 of our frontliners. They're pretty easy to replace. The archers not so much, but the frontliners Aren't too big of a deal, so I think we'll be alright. Alright, Sean Mercy, and this guy probably hates us. No, he doesn't. Voldrat. Alright, usual thing, so low tax policy, enslavement, we're gonna go... I think we'll probably just leave it on none, and that should help with food. I don't know if we need food, but I guess that'll help. Alright, these two, let's go ahead and do enlistment. We'll, inc we'll uh, pay for extra militia and better militia. I think this looks good for now. So there are some Empire people here, but they are starting to back off. Yeah, it looks like they're going down. But back to being Sturgeon. I'm sure the people are happy. Ooh, wow, that was a lot. 3,700 people. Okay, so this is this is a pretty good castle. And before I forget, let's go ahead and fabricate a claim. Yeah, Blood Eve. So he's under a different branch, it looks like. This one has Dinar. It's not even the right culture, but that's fine. Now, how far are we? 53 days left on that one and 22 days on this one. Manage castle, let's see. Actually, we do, yeah, manage garrison. Do that first. Not a big garrison, but it's better than nothing. And then we can put back some of these companion guys we don't want to keep. And let's transfer slaves. Like I said, I don't know if this really does anything, but I'd rather have it. We don't really need the money, so I'd rather have it maybe helping. I don't even know what this does, but we'll just keep boosting it. All right, let's clear out the building order and see what we need. So we are running a little bit low on food, but I, I don't know if that has to do with just the siege in general. That could be... Let's go ahead and put some cash in here. Loyalty, again, is not going to be an issue. Security is not going to be an issue. I think we'll be okay on a lot of these things. Let's do a garden. We'll, we'll do one first, and then we can check back. So 57 days. It's going to take a little while, but I, I think it's going to be worth it. We'll probably do maybe a militia grounds next. And then daily default can stay on trained militia or culture. This one does need to convert the rest of the people. So we'll do cultural assimilation. And how does that affect our money? Probably not too much. You don't even see it on here. Oh, 101 dinars. <laughs> yeah, not not too much. That's fine. Oh, you know, we're, we're pretty badly injured. Let's let's heal up. Oh, they just we got negative relations with this guy. And then we got kicked out of the castle. He's really mad. You're Sturgeon. All right, Rebels and Jelmatis. Interesting. So there's a peace offer that they wanted to sign. Some of these people want peace. 
we could receive money. So we don't really want to go to war with Kazait. We already took the land that, that, you know, that was supposed to be ours. So let's go ahead and enact the peace there. We're going to earn money from them anyways. Northern Empire. Yeah, so the Kazait are paying us. We would have to pay. The only people that we can get money from is Sturgia. I don't think we really need to do that. They're not really, they're not really bothering us. And the Northern Empire owns nothing. They have no towns, no castles, so I don't know where they're getting 3,800 troops from. So we can pretty much just ignore that. They're not raiding us or anything, so it's fine. Southern Empire is the big deal, but again, they don't seem to have too much luck in our country. But look at that, they're at war with everybody. Maybe that's why. They're, they're probably spread pretty thin. I think that's helping us out quite a bit. You know, money is really not an issue. We should probably hire somebody for the marshal. We don't really have a good one, a good option, though. That's the problem. The highest I saw was here. Gabby, 0.35. So we'd be getting 0.35 of everything there, which is pretty bad. I guess it's better than nothing. And it gives us a little relations with her. That's fine. Now, can we fire these people? I wonder if it gives us a minus relations if we do that. And then this one, I think really we, we need it. We don't need settlement loyalty. We're, I think we're doing okay. Okay, so that's fine. We cleaned our plate a little bit. We don't have to deal with uh, Kazates. So our wife can be happy we're not at war with her father anymore. So let's keep waiting. Heal up. We upgraded a few troops and that gave us leadership 125. So in this one, increased security in town while waiting and removing morale penalty for recruiting prisoners of the same culture or increase party size for each town control and heroes generate shared experience. So this would obviously help everybody. Security while waiting in town doesn't really make that big of a difference. And I don't think we're going to deal with morale penalty. I mean, look, we're already at 100 and we just recruited some people. So I'm kind of curious to see how this hero generated share experience works and plus five for each town is going to be nice because we're going to give away these castles and we'll make sure we own most of the towns. All right. So it adds another five. So we're at 349. We're doing pretty good actually. And we're nowhere near clan tier six, but that's fine. We'll, we'll probably get there at some point and everybody healed up. I think we're good enough to leave. All right, let's go. Yeah, we need to go see how these villages are doing. Yeah, you got lots of goodies for us. And our food's doing okay, but uh, we'll, we should probably keep on top of that, because I will forget. Okay, so this one does not have a village project going on at the moment. And this is cows. So they're producing cows. We could do animal housing. That's probably the smart move. And then maybe the tax office, the mines afterwards, probably a bakery at some point. And then I think maybe farmlands or pasture lands. Yeah, probably pasture lands for this one. Oh yeah, did we set the policy? I don't think we did. No tax policy. Let's go low. We don't need to go exemption, I think, in this one. And let's check out Glavstrom. Okay, we're making good money now. We just made 10k that month. Ooh, nice. Nice. We got another level of scholarship. This one adds attribute points to clan children coming of age. And we also get extra experience gain for companions and family members in the party. That's going to be really nice. So we've got tons of bonuses for XP for companions. It's, it's really, really good. Okay, so this one has a fur tannery and bee, so bee colonies, and then you can make honey out of it. The fur tanneries adds leather to the production. Now this one's building a manor. It's 29 days left, 67%. I think we'll probably still change it. I don't, I don't think that's really all that necessary. We should probably build a bakery, bee, and fur. Let's get all the low, the low level ones. Switch production here. There we go. And what does that look like? So 15 days. Yeah, see, this is really quick because it's only a level one. We can get these three up and running real quick. And in case we don't come back for a little while, let's put some of these other ones up. And then this one, again, this one is making the... We'll leave it on farmlands once these are done, just to make sure we have enough cash. Uh, sorry, enough food to feed everybody. And then low tax policy. Everything else looks fine. So our domain limit is 7 out of 3. <laughs> we're, we're severely over. I would like to give some of these away. We want to get rid of these castles. We, we really only want to keep Tayal, but... They're not really giving us that option. I guess we have to own it free and clear. So we've got probably another 20 or, or so days. So let's check it out again. Yeah, 18 days. So we're, we're almost there. Got to hang in there a little bit longer. Now, let's keep recruiting up to our max. So let's head down here. Let's head in further into Knut's land. Take some people. And we'll, we'll cut off. If they try and raid our, our villages or anything, we'll cut them off before they get there. Yeah, everybody wants to fight. Nobody wants to give up. So I guess we're fighting. If I didn't lose anybody, if we auto resolved that, we for sure would have lost somebody, so that's good. Yep. And now we're back over 300, and let's head up to Kaval. I think 300 is a good number right now. I, let's not try to go too far overboard. 
We are starting to burn through some food. Oh, Phil Johnsonson hit level 300 Stewart, so he's coming along really nicely. And that's that's making a big difference. Looks like there's another battle here. His eight's looking to expand there. Oh, they took their homeland back. Nice. Hopefully they go to war with, with Sturgia and takes Dinar. Yeah, I, I, we want to stay friendly, man. We don't want to fight you guys. We, we just want our land back from Sturgia. And then we want Batanian lands, and then we want Landian lands. We don't want your lands. We want a lot of land, though. Now let's go ahead and change, let's see, we have right now an enlistment. Let's leave it as standard for the garrison policy. The garrison here is getting pretty expensive. I don't think we need to enable this. I think the garrison, uh, the militia is in, in pretty good shape. And let's put taxes back up to standard. I don't think we need to do a whole lot else there. And this one is still struggling, so like I said, we're, we're going to leave this one alone. Yeah, 226, there's still pretty low population. But on the bright side, 46 days, so it's, it's not too bad it's i think it was like in the 400s before so it's it's made a good recovery all right workshop building and tie all complete i think i think that is here actually we were working on a workshop yeah we were okay so let's let's put the workshop back on for the next one and then again we're going to do granary afterwards uh, i don't remember what else we were doing let's do marketplace 40k in the bank food's good everything's good security loyalty everything's very very good i don't think we have a whole lot to worry about here other than these stupid workshops i don't think they're doing too well Okay, well, it's not terrible. What does it show workshop income here? Actually, 1,200. Okay, I take that back. They're doing okay. Now, the pottery shop is running normally. 40 out of 40. These ones are... Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. I was debating if we should upgrade it again or not. I'm not sure. I mean, we have the money to spare. Let's at least do these two. No, you know, let's do all three. Let's do all three. And I believe that shoots our income down to zero. Let's wait and see. Because the workshop shuts down for three days. Well, not exactly because that's right. It does have its little piggy bank that's so paying out from that. But if we check, yeah, their income went down. Now, is there, let's see if there's some coal here or some iron ore here. doesn't look like it. So I don't know if it's just getting sold out. There's plenty of butter. We will take some butter. Yeah, some cheese as well. We need to stay up at like 50 for each one. And we have been saving up some, some gear for a bit. Let's just get rid of everything. See how much money we made. Almost 140K, so that's not bad. Yeah, we make good money here, and actually there's some boots. A few leftover items that we had saved from, from previously that are still there. So 141k. Not bad at all. We could probably afford another book soon, although we're still reading this one. We're 25% of the way done. All right, let's go ahead and recruit. Yeah, there's a lot here. Holy cow. I don't know why we even need to go to those villages anymore. We can just come here. All right, let's... Uh, I saw Kevin there. Let's get rid of him. So he'll join the garrison. And let's go ahead and adjust the domain here so tax policy let's go standard everything else there's fine construction's fine and then let's go standard enlistment for the garrison policy yeah garrison's 153 we will keep putting people in there too i don't think we need to necessarily go in there and do it uh, or have have them hire them and train people for us so i think we're in good shape there i don't know if lady castle has slaves yet so let's go there I think the marketplace was here. It looks like it just got done building. Yeah, it did. There's not really anything else we can add here. Once these are done, this one's topped out. We got to redo Palisades once that finishes as well, but that's fine. Right, so this is in good shape. Let's go up to Vladiv and we'll go ahead and transfer all these slaves. Yeah, that should give them plenty. And while we're here, let's get some archers. We're seven days away from being able to press our claim and then we can start knighting people, I think. I hope. Seven days. Uh, let's let's head back to Tyal because that's where it's going to happen. And I don't know if we need to be there for anything, so let's just head back that way just in case. Oops, we had this one in standard. Let's go ahead and switch it to low. Construction, I think, is fine. Let's see. They're doing okay on food. They're actually not doing okay on food. So let's go ahead and switch that back. Uh, land, land expansion, and I think Garrison should be okay. Maybe in a day or two, it'll tick back for, for food. And we just finished the gardens here, so let's go ahead and build another one. And we'll line up a workshop after that, just in case we weren't here to switch it. And same thing with military grounds. So 33 days, not too bad. And they still have a ton of fish here. But you know what, actually, I think I think our new castle's starving, if I remember. Double check. Lediv, yeah, it is. So let's go... I think we can put food in the storage, and it'll use that as an emergency if the food is really low. Wow, a lot of rebels. Carbansa's just rebelled. I open stash, we're going to go fish, and we'll keep 50. Wait a day, see what that does. Nope, still not updating it. All right, I see it. It ticked up here. Okay, cool. So they do they do use that. It keeps them from starving. Prosperity is going to stay flat. So that's good. All right, back to Urexkala. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else there we need to do. Let's go back. Make sure we're ready to, to take our claim. 
and then hopefully we can start knighting people.